say what you've got to say, and I'm tired of you. I just need very well. Let's go in. There are you know how, and that's it. I blow only if you blow up. Isn't that what you? But if you choose wrong, it will be your. Let's take a deep breath. But how should I know? That's the thing, Sus. In life, you can't. Haven't you learned? That's not fair. Nothing. You opened your heart. Then those disgusting cannibals. They and what about the man with the flowers? The way your the way your neighbors laugh, you did not deserve. Am I forget? Hi, most of shut up. Just shut up. Now I know who you. All those feelings, that bitter guilt, that hatred for my. You are that miserable always. I let you take control of my life. I believed it was right. But not a this ends. Zen bl No. I'm done. You won't tell me what I am str I can close my eye. Blow It's time to say I'm not You will never you need No. Hello, Adam. Mitzi is dead. Are you happy now? You don't have to answer. I'm not sure if you even can, but you got what you wanted. Congratulations. What are you anyway? You're paralyzed, aren't you? How convenient for you. I guess if you weren't, you'd be making a brilliant final speech right now. Something movie villains always do. You'd explain why you wished all those people dead. And then we would fight. Good versus evil. The way it always goes. But I don't know what's good and what's evil anymore. Perhaps I am the evil one here. I've done some horrible things. I let my friend die right in front of me, because... Because I'm scared of dying. Funny, isn't it? Susan Ashworth, a miserable reject who used to fantasize about suicide, chose to live after all. But this is your life we should talk about here, you parasite. You saw it all on your camera. Your own father choking to death. After all those years he spent providing for you. You ungrateful pig. And Mitzi. She gave up her only chance for revenge and sacrificed her life for me. Do you think I owe it to her to kill you? How clever. Is this how you murder people? That device on your eye. It's a controller, isn't it? I can see why you're known as the Eye of Adam now. That evil eye is the only part of you that works. That and your brain, of course. All rotten inside. You have no idea what you've done, do you? You've made people kill themselves using just words on the screen. In a way, you are a very powerful man. Your wish shall be granted.
It's me, again, talking about my ordinary little life, as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. It was her decision to sacrifice her own life for the sake of mine. A decision that made me realize that people can still care about me, while her life was almost over anyway. She gave up on one thing that was most important to her. Revenge. And she did it for me. But if I really did become immortal for that short time in my life, wasn't it unnecessary for Mitzi to die before her time? Poisoned like a rat? Well, one thing's for sure. I made that fucker pay for it. I still miss her, though. Every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them, tried to help. And now, I'm writing this blog. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. But I woke up today, feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred. 